Hey guys, Candace here. So today I'm going to be showing you Canva and how it works. Um, Canva makes design simple for everyone, creates design for web or print, blog graphics, presentations, Facebook covers, flyers, posters, invitations, and so on. The list just doesn't end. It's an amazing tool. It's super easy. Um, so let's get started. First things first, you're going to either sign up with Facebook, sign up with Google, I'm already signed up, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Login right up here. It's going to bring you to the main page. As you can see, I have a whole library already full of graphics I've already made in the past. So first things first, create a design. Social media, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, YouTube, channel art, presentation, poster. You can click More. And yes, there's more. Um, recommended for you, social media posts, documents, blogging and ebooks, marketing materials. A lot of people use this for their logos. It's very handy. Facebook event cover, YouTube thumbnail. It just has everything you need and want. Now, if for some reason it does not have the dimensions you need, you can go ahead and click use custom dimensions and just type it in right here. Um, so I'm just going to go back and show you my library and just show you a few graphics that I've made. And no, I'm not a graphic designer. Canva makes me believe I am. But, um, now look at this. This is just an easy social media post showing off, um, one of our clients' products. Uh, one shirt, two ways. Um, Mother's Day sneak peek. I just threw some photos on there. Contest. I made a logo on here. Um, coming soon. Sometimes you need that for your websites. Uh, some more promotional posts. Save 20% use code Mary. Um, so these are really appealing to the eye and these were so simple to make there here on Canva. Um, this was probably a Facebook header. Another Facebook header. One I wanted to show you was this. Um, Canva actually had this template already built and I just kind of took it and changed the con change the wording. You know, Black Friday is coming up soon. It's November. Um, Cyber Monday, and then we threw in Small Business Saturday. So it's cool. This is one cool template that um, I like to use for the holidays. And then, really quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you a template because if you're posting on Instagram or Facebook, it's, you know, you should be watermarking or tagging your company on there. And here's one of them I'm going to show you that I've made for a company I work for, BU. I use the same kind of marbly background. I have be your own you right here, and I just put quotes. I go find a new quote every day. So it's just keeping the brand consistency and showing be your own you right here. But let's go ahead and make a new one. Go ahead and go back to Canva. Today we'll make a Facebook post. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this. Okay, as you can see, Canva layouts. It gives you all these layouts. It gives you elements, free photos, grids, frames, shapes, lines, illustrations, etc. Text, if you want to add your text or use one of theirs and just change the wording. Click a different background. As I showed you my last post, I actually used one of their backgrounds. It was this one. Go ahead and select and just delete that. And uploads. I have a big library of my own uploads. You can go ahead and upload your own images. But let's go ahead and pick a layout. As you can see, this one's free and you don't see free on these. Some of them do cost money, so you can go ahead and pay for them if you like. But if you scroll down, you'll see free, 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 free. Now let's just say for an example, you love this one, but you don't want to pay and you're in a pickle. It's very simple to go ahead and use all of the elements, tools they give you, and just recreate it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Just so if you do find one in the future you want to change up a little bit, I'm going to show you how easy it is. So I could go ahead and create a new layer and then just, oops, and then just select all of these and click delete. But as you can see, there's only a watermark on this image and on this one. So we can keep the same text. You can keep join us and keep the to our newsletter and enjoy. So I'm just going to go ahead and click elements, free photos. 
And let's just see what they have. Let's just type in email. Here we go. This one's free. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and size it down. I kind of want it to be the same size as this one. So I'm just going to match it, center it, and this center. Click the image behind it and just click delete. Now subscribe. We need to change that one. So let's just type in subscribe. Let's see if any pop up. Nope, nothing pops up, but that's okay. We're now going to go to text. We're going to go create our own. Just going to click, we're just going to type in subscribe. And I'm going to do the same thing. I love matching, you know, the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger, even bigger than that, it seems. Scroll up, center it. Delete the one behind it. Delete. Now, you're like, that's boring. I like the other one. We'll go ahead and play with the text. There's some cool ones, just like that one. Here's a cool one. That's a little too big. We'll size it down. Woo! It's humongous. To center it. We're gonna go ahead and delete this one because we don't need it. Bada bing, bada boom. Now just click download. PNG or JPEG, it really doesn't matter. This one says recommend it, so I'm gonna go ahead for it and just click download. Pop up, click OK. Bada bing, bada boom. And there you have it. There's my image that I just recreated for free. So it's that simple, guys. You can just play around with all of these graphics, all of these layouts and templates. And no matter what you need, you will find it in these templates. Or you can just go ahead and make your own. If you see another post on social media that someone else has used, copycat marketing, you guys, go ahead and just do what I just did. Look at their image and then come on here and just recreate it. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let us know. I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a wonderful day. Oh, and really quick, one more tip. Now, for some of those who are like, hey, wait, how do I upload my logo? I want to put my logo on there. I'm just gonna show you that really quick. Go to Uploads, click Upload Images. I have to go find mine really quick. Um, you will want to use a PNG one just because it will be transparent. So here's one of my logos. I'm going to upload it. Mine kind of has a glow to it. Just click on it and there you go. It drops it in here. I'm going to go ahead. I could put mine down in this corner or I could put it up here. I'm going to put it up there. But you can put it anywhere you want. Or another cool tool is um, do this, center it. Now my, it might not work on mine because mine is a glow, but I'm going to click arrange, back, 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 back. I want to be behind everything. Now I'm going to click um, right here, transparency. I can make it very faint. So that's like another watermark. That you could do it in all of your posts just have it very faint in the background so I'm just going to center it and there you go so it's that easy guys I hope you guys found this video very helpful um, if you have any questions let us know and if not thank you for watching and have an amazing day